Hey guys, happy Monday. What? I need to figure out a way to stop saying happy whatever day. As you guys know, I never know what day it is. Anyway, I wanted to talk with you guys because, I'm sorry, I'm bouncing my table. I want to talk with you guys um, about my tip that I came up with actually over the weekend. And I know I shared it with you guys. I had a video on here when I was in the camper over the weekend, um, kind of just talking about my morning walking into the woods and how I was thinking of you guys and really putting one foot in front of the other and just, you know, taking those steps forward when we don't exactly know what the outcome is. Um, so you guys can watch that video. It's in here. It's exclusive to you guys because you guys are my people. I love you. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I wanted to share with you guys that tip because I told you guys that I had something that I'm doing that is, seems to be working for me. Um, I have a serious binge eating problem. And when I think of binge eating, I think of if I'm not on a structure or a plan, um, or I don't have a meal plan figured out, or, you know, I'm not on these like dedicated structured workouts and I don't have this, these specific meals I'm supposed to be eating, or I'm not tracking my food, I will just go off the deep end. Um, I will just eat and eat and eat. I can literally eat until I make myself sick. I mean, I, isn't that like what puppies do? Like, Jesus, I'm like a freaking dog. Um, you know, and I, the more I'm, I'm talking about it out loud. Um, I'm learning that it's actually, there's actually a binge eating disorder. I'm not going to go to that extreme and say I have a disorder. First of all, I'm not going to go to the doctor for it because I know that as a coach and as, and with you guys in the supportive community that I have, then I'm going to get over this. You know, it's, I'm going to have moments when I cave, but it's fine. Um, so that's not the point of my story here. I want to get to the fun part. Um, but I guess we got to talk about the messy stuff in the middle. Um, so, but you know, as I mentioned, that's kind of what I'm thinking of when I think of binge eating. And I also think of it as an overeating disorder. So I can also, like I was telling you guys in my, in my other video, we, we went, to, went to Buffalo Wild Wings and we got a plate of nachos, which by the way, do not order them. They're freaking nasty. <laughs> and I love nachos. Like I, and this is like, you know, like, ultimate nachos with all the different toppings. You know, you've got your onions and tomatoes and salsa and sour cream. I love those kind of nachos. I could eat those probably every night because it's kind of like tacos, just a little different. Not as messy for me, at least. Um, and so we were at Buffalo Wild Wings. We had some, we had had some appetizers and we had had some, um, I don't know what else. Oh, and I had had the street street nachos, no, street tacos. We had the nachos, street tacos. Jesse and I usually like plate share or we'll share meals and things. So that's what we were having for dinner. Not a good choice, right? Um, anyway, <laughs> that's for another conversation. But what I wanted to tell you was, I like, and I was telling Jesse this later, I'm like, I could have just sat there and ate and ate and ate those nachos. Like, for me, it was a nervous thing. We were eating with friends who, you know, I know them, but I don't know them like super well. Um, and it's also for me, it's like a social thing. So the same thing with drinking, um, I will just sit there and chug water or I will just chug beer or whatever it is because it's a nervous thing for me. So I tend to over consume whatever it is. I think it's probably part of my ADHD where I just need to keep myself busy. I like to keep my hands busy and kind of I'm fidgety. So for me, if I'm in a, in a group setting or a social setting where there's food, I just want to constantly eat because it keeps my hands busy, it keeps my body busy. Um, because otherwise I blurt out these really stupid, random, awkward sayings and I feel like an idiot. So, uh, so I, you know, I, I feel food in my mouth so I don't talk and, and say stupid things. You know what I mean? So for me, that's been a really big struggle and it's something that I've noticed definitely over the last few months. So I'm really, really working hard on that. So that night after we got home, I was talking to Jesse and <laughs> he was laying in bed and he's like, you know, he was definitely ready to go to bed. He goes to bed before I do because he works super hard and he was laying in bed and <laughs> it's dark in the bedroom. And I was like, Jesse, I've got to tell you something and I need you to be really, really open-minded and not judge me. And I'm like trying to be serious and I'm kind of laughing because I like to make jokes all the time. So I'm telling him this and he's like, oh my God, what? <laughs> I have no idea what he was expecting me to say. But I'm like, I have a problem. I have an eating problem. <laughs> he's like, oh my God, Jessica, you're such a dork. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm like, but no, I mean, seriously, I need your help with this because 
for some freak of nature reason that my husband is a freak of nature, he can stop eating mid burger. Like, how do you do that? I can't stop eating mid sandwich. I have to finish the whole sandwich. Like, don't be wasteful because it's not going to be good three hours later. So that's what I struggle with. I struggle with being wasteful and, you know, those social settings and just, just nervousness and, and freaking it tastes good, right? So as I'm telling him this, I'm like, I need your help because clearly like he's laying in bed and he's like laying on his side of the bed and <laughs> I look up and I'm like, I'm trying to get food advice from the man who has three Reese's package next to his bed. I'm like, how do you have a six pack with like all this crap? You eat like crap, but he doesn't overeat. I overeat all the time. So I haven't got to my point yet and shared with my shared you with you my tip. I don't know who's online, but I see somebody's watching. So hey, how are you? Say hi in the comments so I can see who you are. Because I'm on my computer, so I can't tell exactly who you are right now. Um, but you know. As I was telling him, I'm like, I need you just to be super open-minded. And he was like, okay, whatever. You know, I was like, this is what I need to do. I need to think of a word. So this is like code word for you and I. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Um, so it's like code word for him and I. So it's mainly, it's really selfishly for me. And I was like, I need a word that's going to make me laugh and it's going to distract me. So it's like going to, you know, make me think of something else. Um, so I was like thinking of words and I'm like, I don't know, random. I was like swimsuit. Ooh, like if I say swimsuit, that'll make me not want to eat more food, right? And he's like, that's really dumb. You're just going to say swimsuit at the dinner table. I'm like, okay. So, you know, I'm just trying to like think of other things. And I finally was like, pineapple. I'm just going to say pineapple because, you know, you, you've probably seen the graphic of, um, you know, this stand tall, wear your crown, be a pineapple, be a pineapple. But that's not just it for me. For me, it was, um, you know, pineapple's fruit. So it's healthy, even though it has natural sugars. Um, but it also does make me think of a swimsuit. When I think of pineapples, I think of beaches and being half dressed because you're on the beach. And that makes me not want to eat a bunch of food. I don't want to go out there and be overweight and, you know, be the whale on the beach or whatever. <laughs> um, and I didn't want to also say like negative words like whale because I was like, I could say like heifer or pig and like, I don't, I don't want to, you know, train my mind to think of those negative things. So I was trying to find a positive word, which is why I stumbled across pineapple. But the other thing I was telling Jesse and he started cracking up because uh, several years ago I was doing flashcards with Mason and we were working on his addition and subtraction. So, you know, I'm doing flashcards with him, I'm showing the flashcards. <laughs> And he just got, he was like over it. He's like, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. And I, <laughs> I put up, I don't know what it was like two plus one, whatever. No, I'm sure it was a lot more complicated than that. But, um, so I put it up and he looked at it. He didn't know the answer. So he was like 44, 12, seven, H, L, pineapple. <laughs> and it just cracked me up because pineapple is obviously, obviously not the answer to a math problem. But I will never forget it because that's just him, his personality, his impulsiveness. It was so cute. So, you know, not only does the word pineapple make me think of the beach and make me want to not eat bad, but it just reminds me of my sweet little guy. So I don't know if that's going to work for you guys, but it has actually worked. I've used it several times um, and it's just a way for me to be like pineapple, you know, and then Jessie kind of knows like mm, I can take her plate away and she's not going to, you know, bite my hand or bite my fingers because you know, we also don't want to get to that shift where I've seen a lot of couples. And like I mentioned to you guys, when I was eating the onion ring the other night, I took a bite and he like looked at me like, oh my God, I cannot believe you're still eating. <laughs> he had no idea what I was talking about. And I talked to him about that later. And he's like, because I was like, I saw you, like, I saw you give me those eyes. You were like, give me the stink eye, you know? And he's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's like when I was eating the onion ring, he's like, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so it's my guilty conscience. So. I hope you guys can figure out some sort of a word or something, something to help you if this is also a problem for you. You know, I, I don't want to put put or disorders in your head because I know sometimes we can hear other people's problems or some things that affect other people and be like, oh my God, I have that too. Like you might not have this as an issue. So good for you if not. Good for you if you can, you know, take your pint of Ben and Jerry's and just eat a couple bites. Me, I'm like scraping the bottle, like licking it out, you know, it, it just 
that's just me. It's just, I get it from my dad. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to hop off here and let you guys get back to your families. I'm sure you guys are having dinner. Um, I'm home alone. The boys are at the range. So tonight's my cleanup night. But I wanted to go live and share with you because I promised you that tip that I was going to tell you. So I hope it works for you. If it does, please feel free to share in the group. And I would love to hear what your word is that is your distracting word. So have a great night. Bye, guys.